In this video, we're going to go through how to configure and run a wired auto test profile. I'll begin by tapping on the auto test application from the home screen. This displays the auto test profile group screen. Auto test provides two primary functions. It connects the wired port to the network, which is required for applications such as performance testing and packet capture. Auto test will also validate connectivity to the network. Wired auto tests apply to both the SFP slot and the RJ45 port on the top of the test tool. When you open the auto test app for the first time, default auto tests will be present. This will depend on the device you're using. In this case, I'm using an Etherscope NXG, so we see tests for wired, wireless, and air quality. Since this video is focused on the wired auto test, I'll remove the wireless and air quality auto tests. This is accomplished by tapping on the settings icon and unchecking the auto tests. Additional profiles may be added by tapping on the action button in the lower right corner and selecting the type of profile. I'll edit the wired auto test by first tapping on it and then tapping on the settings icon in the upper right corner. It's a good idea to enter a descriptive name for the profile. This will make it easier to find and reuse this profile in the future. If the link you are testing supports PoE, you may tap on the PoE test to configure the PoE test parameters. In this case, I will enable the PoE test, specify I expect Class 3 PoE, and enable True Power, which will draw the specified amount of current from the PoE device. Tapping the back arrow at the bottom of the screen will take me back to the configuration screen. The wired connection configuration is used for specifying speed, duplex, as well as several other parameters. In this case, we'll use the default settings. The auto test application supports 802.1Q VLAN tags. If you would like to test connectivity to a specific VLAN, you may enable the VLAN test and enter the desired VLAN ID. Wait for network traffic. When enabled, we'll pause the auto test until traffic is received from the switch. This is useful when loop prevention mechanisms such as spanning tree are running on the switch. IP configuration is used to specify whether the auto test is to use DHCP to obtain an IP address or whether a static address is used. When using static, you may specify the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, primary DNS server, and a secondary DNS server. In this case, we'll use DHCP. Auto test will validate DNS is working properly. In the DNS configuration screen, you may specify a custom DNS name to resolve or use the default provided by auto test. The gateway test will validate the test instrument is able to ping the default gateway. Here you may disable this test as well as set a timeout threshold. As part of the validation, auto tests may be configured to test one or more test targets. These include ping, TCP connection, HTTP, and FTP tests. Tapping on test targets brings up a list of previously configured test targets. New test targets may be added by tapping the action button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once added, a test target may be used by multiple auto test profiles. In this case, I'll select the NetAlly HTTP test I've previously created. In some cases, you may not want to run all the validation tests. Stop After allows you to select where you would like to stop testing. This is useful if you only want to validate a link to the switch. HTTP proxy is used if there is a proxy server between the test tool and the internet. Now that I've completed the auto test profile configuration, I'll tap on the back button at the bottom of the screen and run the auto test. I'll do this by tapping start at the top of the screen. Now that auto test is completed, Let's look at the results. 
At the top of the profile, we see a green cable and a green chain link. This lets us know this is a wired profile and the test tool is linked to the network using this profile. Green indicates there are no warnings or errors. If warnings or errors are encountered, the number of each will be indicated in this box. The individual test with the warning or error will be yellow or red. After the test has completed, comments and pictures may be attached to the test result in Link Live by tapping on the action button and selecting the desired action.